Did you know that you could have some money sitting out there waiting to be claimed? This isn't one of those infomercials that you see in the middle of the night. You mean free money. Last year, Misha, 20 million people got free money. This is much cooler, much more just, you know, higher capabilities here than just some static amount of free money sitting out there. Shapeshift, my favorite cryptocurrency exchange of the previous bull run because they made it so easy to seamlessly trade different cryptocurrencies for other ones, especially as a US citizen. And guess what? They were based out of the US. And due to regulatory pressure, they basically got worse and worse until I stopped using them sometime around 2018. I still thought they were a cool exchange led by someone who really cares about cryptocurrency and decentralization, Eric Voorhees, who in a recent interview stated that due to regulatory issues, like he can't even just get done what he wants to get done. He can't offer the best experience. So this is crazy. They just went decentralized. They just, he just shut down Shapeshift. It's being just sold off, liquidated, whatever. They all had, there were a bunch of W-2 employees, you know, like they get taxed and work the nine to five. That's getting canceled. We are transforming from a traditional equity based, you know, VC backed corporate entity to a decentralized autonomous organization. He owned about a third of Shapeshift and instead he's opted now for just 5% of the Fox token they launched previously is like kind of like rewards mechanism, but now that token is gonna have much more utility and it's gonna power their decentralized autonomous organization. A DAO is basically a decentralized company. This token is gonna run it. And you may have these tokens if you've interacted with any popular decentralized finance app or their exchange, or you connected a keep key wallet and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm pretty excited. And just to be clear, they did not sponsor this video. Okay, this is just, uh, this is so cool. This, this could really start a trend. This could quite literally be a game changer in many ways. They are blazing a trail here and I couldn't be rooting for them any louder. Just like I hope you're rooting for Tails, our resident Shiba Inu and Dogecoin, 10 seconds of Tails, something we do every video here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. My name's Vosk. And really, I just document my crazy crypto journey here every day on YouTube. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners. They will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. Shapeship recently made headlines in a couple of different ways, but the most important way is that you could be eligible for a couple hundred bucks. It's really exciting if you've got some free money waiting for you, free tokens, but these may not actually be crypto tokens that you want to turn around and dump. For example, like when Uniswap airdropped their tokens and then they went up and down and whatever in value and then they skyrocketed later. It was an easy way to turn free money into a lot of free money. Coming off the cusp of a Coindesk article here, uh, they're talking about Borges applauds uh, crypto's hyper capitalism as shapeshift goes gray and that's just crazy they have launched their fox token and, and just hold on i got time stamps below but i'm gonna walk you through the basics of claiming the token it's very easy if you've been following the channel you most likely have this airdrop if you've been participating with anything DeFi, if you still turn your nose up to it well then you're gonna miss out on more money and deservedly so <laughs> to be honest i don't understand why some people are so like resistant to DeFi, bro it's the best investment opportunity in the history of ever. Okay, DeFi is basically CeFi. Okay, so DeFi is decentralized finance and CeFi is centralized finance. And basically decentralized finance is a better version of all of the legacy banking stuff that you and everyone else has known in the recent, you know, several decades, couple centuries, whatever. This provides an incredible opportunity to earn interest, make money, um, not just on you know buying a speculative coin, it goes up and down, but let me show you what happens when you get to be involved in the farming, okay? You could be earning up to 1,445%. That's a freaking lot, okay? Um, and 
there's there's different things that go into this um it's not like oh you'll just earn crazy interest forever there's normally a start and an end and bonus and how they want to allocate their tokens and whatever else but as always the people who get involved earlier do better so i talked about fox previously but to be honest i did not care about fox previously i mean i was like oh like that's cool that's nice look at these little shape shift bonus points well guess what i wish i was stacking up those foxes now because these foxes just became incredibly more valuable. In our video last year, we talked about the best cryptocurrency exchanges for US citizens. And basically, honorable mention was Shapeshift because they used to be incredible, but after they added a bunch of KYC and whatever else, it just became a lot less appealing. Shapeshift was never known for low fees. I actually always paid high fees to use their service, but it was very just... Uh, easy it, it was the most beginner friendly thing ever and they got built into some really useful crypto wallets especially in the previous bull run for example here 400 omis go right there at that time worth just casual 3g's pretty crazy anyway the point is is that you could exchange in the exodus wallet which i really like but they've gone public and they're not half as cool as they used to be shapeshift is also the parent company basically of keep key and eric Voorhees and the whole uh, you know conglomeration here and so they really try to integrate keep key well with the shapeshift exchange but now they've decentralized and they airdropped two one million addresses so TLDR, what's the details, man? Decentralization and open sourcing. In his words, they're moving into the gray area. As always on camera, you never say you're gonna break a law or a rule. And he says, as you can see here, going to provide the best service he can while following the laws. And he's going to operate in the gray area and literally even states that, okay? So hats off to him. Uh, you know from a business owner point of view right like very cool i will say that regulatory friction absolutely has a part in this decision um i am in this industry to build tools that help bring financial sovereignty to people that's why i first cared about bitcoin uh from the moment i saw it that's why i build and work and care and am passionate about this entire industry if this industry does not bring financial sovereignty to individuals the whole thing is pointless. And so I'm gonna do whatever I can to further that goal. Sometimes that means we have to be in the gray area and I think that's that's okay. I mean, I, I wish there were more people willing to be brave and to push the boundaries and to fight for principle instead of just you know mm -hmm. trying to get along and make some profit, but I'm gonna do it. And uh, hopefully that will mm -hmm. help inspire others to do so as well. And ironically, he's not even the business owner anymore. He forewent being an owner, okay, he's stepping back. He basically sold or canceled Shapeshift LLC and has now launched Shapeshift Decentralized Cryptocurrency Nonprofit DAO, whatever, like all the other crypto projects. And talk about just being sick of, you know, people making moves and just sit, feeling stagnant, try, trying to do the right thing. And regulators just hold you back and fine you. It's ridiculous. It's so archaic. Um, so over 60% of the Fox supply you gotta love how that ends right there tokens have been allocated to the shapeshift community so if you were using gitcoin uniswap sushi swap yearn ave alchemex one inch curve balancer ox token all right most thorchain users you are eligible all right they claim that it's now one of the most widely spread tokens in the history of ever all right <laughs> history of crypto buddy and they say Shapeshift hasn't even sold a token. Perhaps yet. The exciting new DeFi token Fox that we're talking about today lives on the Ethereum blockchain. It's an ERC20 token. And these things are easy to see by checking out their CoinGecko page. But there's another incredibly popular DeFi blockchain. It's the Binance Smart Chain. And it's just a straight up clone of Ethereum, but it runs on proof of stake. That thing that Ethereum is supposed to be working towards. And on that project lives a little piggy. That's today's video sponsor, piggybankdefi.com and the piggy bank coins. But we're like, what, what is that? You check it out, they're like, yo, join the DeFi wagon. Who said pigs can't fly? They apparently gonna fly all the way to the moon. But how, what, why, like, what, what do they even do? So they're aiming and claiming to be a ecosystem full of rewards, specifically featuring token yielding NFTs. 
NFTs or non-fungible tokens, digital collectibles, basically unique tokens you can buy, keep in your wallet and earn yield, right? Or earn rewards with. One of the things they're working on is something called Volume Wars. It's a unique concept involving a game where users can battle in competition against each other. Several teams attacking. Players have the chance to receive a special NFT that grants rewards captured from the ecosystem for the entire life of the project. The NFT is the key to unlock the full potential of the piggy bank token. And so NFTs are all the race. The non-fungible token market is absolutely exploding, continues to explode. It is the fastest growing industry in the world right and that is a certified fact from Voscoin hq research center number one doer of the research but in all seriousness there the nft market is absolutely exploding and statistically is just booming in metrics uh, but piggy bank doesn't stop there they're trying to make DeFi safe again and they're creating a DeFi token launch platform specifically geared towards supporting charity projects. They are a member of the DeFi Alliance program and they made it their mission to create a safe venue where DeFi projects can launch, have a vetting process, verification. They're aiming to be a better version of War on Rugs, who ironically started out as a resource to help people stay safe from rug pools and then the dude ended up <laughs> rug pulling. Learn more about the piggy token with the link in the video description below. They just launched liquidity mining. At the time you're watching this video, it is now possible to partake, which is very cool and very exciting. I've got a link in the video description below. Click it, take you straight to the airdrop. How do you claim the airdrop? Well, guess what? I haven't even claimed mine, so we can claim it together. I agree to the terms because you don't really give me a choice and you say okay hey i'll go ahead and connect my wallet turns out or you check your eligibility lucky me i'm eligible for 200 fox tokens these have been fluctuating in value when i checked earlier they were worth more so i'm going to go ahead and claim it ethereum gas fees have come down significantly it's still actually incredibly expensive to transact here on the uh ethereum blockchain Sadly, so you can hodl your Fox tokens for tons of benefits. You can help shape the future of finance with Fox tokens. You can even vote on the Shapeship DAO. Transaction complete. You can get big returns up to 1,455%. So basically, they're rewarding a ton of tokens through October. All right, that's a long time for these to be given out. And basically, it's all for their liquidity providers. You can also cover gas fees with tr on, on trades using their platform. You get reimbursed. And so we've talked about gas tokens before, and this is an excellent way to implement them kind of in your own token and helping to create the use case here. And they've also created a basic lottery system or the rainfall, which I'll, I'll talk a bit more. I'll just pull this up. But whenever a user trades on Shapeshift, another Fox token holder wins crypto. So they're calling it Rainfall. So it's a reward system and on the Shapeshift mobile application platform where Fox or holding Fox earns you chances to win free crypto. Anytime a trade occurs, you have a chance of winning USDC. The more Fox you have, the higher chance you have of winning a Rainfall reward. This is like basically soft staking, but it's all based around the app actually being used. And this is pretty cool. Like, I, I, I like that a lot. So I've successfully claimed my Fox here at the time of recording this video, a value of $138. We may look back and smile and that's now worth $10,000. Or maybe you'll look back and laugh at me and it'll go down to like 60 bucks. I don't think this is a project that, uh, you know, is going to be going away uh, by any means, right? Um, the, he's been around for Eric Voorhees, the, basically the captain of this ship even in a decentralized manner, has been around here for seven years now. I mean, like at least my understanding, that's a long time. Um, and I feel like I've been like I'm an artifact here. I've been here over four years now and it is aging me massively quickly, crazily year over year. So I have every month I get a new gray hair. I'm starting, it's starting to show but 
whatever. Um, the point here is that, and you will notice that I'm not, I'm not explaining what I'm doing. I'm, I'm approving a transaction here to add liquidity, and then I will go ahead and supply my tokens. And so you can see uh, the gas fees, they start to add up. You see the correlated Ethereum amount, and I'm adding my liquidity uh, to the pool here. And once I do that, I can stake the tokens. And what I'm doing now is participating in their farming. This is yield farming or liquidity mining. Basically, I'm adding liquidity to a decentralized exchange here. If this all sounds really foreign to you, you really should watch our video tutorial guide on what MetaMask is, how to set it up and how to use it, and even more specifically, what the Uniswap decentralized exchange is, how to use it, how to provide liquidity and things like that. So you can see my pool value is already showing up. I am a liquidity provider here on the Fox ETH pairing. So I'm going to approve the staking, boom, another gas fee. And from here, the staking contract uh, is basically asking their the permission, I have to grant them permission to spend my tokens. You can't really do anything on the blockchain without signing a transaction or approving a spend or anything like that. Otherwise, somebody could just show up and be like, hey man, thanks for the coins, bye. And that's not what you want. <laughs> And just like that, the transaction is confirmed. You can refresh the page, but normally it updates pretty quickly. So you'll notice that I, I had approved that they can stake my coins. That was the last transaction. So now I have to pay another gas fee and actually stake my tokens. You can see that even at these historically low and recent times gas fees, I just spent what, 30 bucks in gas? Um, it's it's pretty just absolutely absurd if I I pull up fees here I've spent over 3.5 ethereum worth well over 14 grand at the recent peak of ethereum I um, mean gas fees it's it's absolutely absurd so when we wait for this transaction to complete I, I really just want to reiterate that I think this is just this is so exciting to see a centralized company completed go decentralized in such a bold fu manner we're going to try to blaze a trail here i think if we can do this well uh, other companies will see that this is actually a, a great path for them um, especially if they're trying to build a global platform and they want it to be open and immutable absolutely thrilled you gotta love it <laughs> um so just like that i'm staked in and uh once the rewards start rolling out I'll be earning those. And it's really as simple as um, you know you can participate yourself uh, just by doing the exact same thing if you'd like to do so, or you can just go ahead and head over to Uniswap and you can dump on me. <laughs> it's up to you, um, whatever you wanna do there. Uh, honestly, a project like this, th for me personally, this isn't the project I like to you know turn around quickly and just mega dump. Um, but if you want to take your 200 bucks, 150 bucks, whatever it is, and run, you know, good for you, no problem, no worries. This is something I'm going to look forward to peak, spike. I want to earn some tokens with, you know, high interest rates. Um, you know, basically use my free coins to build a bigger free coin bag. And if it spikes in the future, I'll look to take profits. Uh, but, you know, I'm excited to see where it goes. And, and things that I'm excited about, I like to support. And this is the bet you can talk about it, you can shout about it, whatever. But the real way to support things, people and projects is to interact with them. For example, the best way you could support me is to go ahead and subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Smashing that subscribe button means all the world leaving a comment, engaging with me, engaging with the video, let me know what you think, hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate all those things and they make all the difference in the long term success of the Voscoin YouTube channel. Voscoin is nothing without you, I understand that and uh, you guys are the ones that make this all fun and rewarding. So as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next video. Please be advised, there are scammers impersonating us on multiple platforms. I don't want your money, I just want you to smash that subscribe button. Everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. That means it's not financial advice.